Hey, good morning, guys. Just down here in the creek catching a quick bath. Um, starting to get cold. And I was as dirty as the truck. But uh, 5.45 in the morning, we're going to get an early start today. We've got lots planned. It was a big night last night. And I can't wait to share with you guys what our plan is for today. So let me get uh, get finished up here and I'll meet you guys back up at the camper. Shoo. All right. So, uh, yeah, a uh, big night last night. So I went and uh, went and had dinner down at the Texas Roadhouse. And I met a young lady. Her name, believe it or not, is Luke. So Luke... She owned or owns the farm. There goes another street sign. Oh, I did cut some timber up here last night, too. Thought I'd get a little bit of a start on that. Um, but anyway, she owns the farm right down the road here. from our house I should probably turn my lights on so this this field right here so this thing was jam-packed with wheat and it was about to turn and she needed to leave to go out of town uh, she had a little bit of a family emergency and if we didn't she didn't get it harvested right away she was afraid it would be bad by the time she got back. It's as you can tell. It's a, or see, it's a pretty big field. So we uh, we jumped on the combine, helped her out, and we ended up. She paid us pretty well on it. We ended up making about eighty eight hundred bucks on it. So we got that done, and then come to find out, she also owns this tract of land up here above our farm this whole tract of land right there that we talked about in i think the first or second episode maybe the th third episode i can't remember now we talked about actually maybe clearing some of it and building our house up there so we were chatting while we were working last night and um she asked where i was living i told her you know obviously this was our place but we didn't have a house yet that we're living out of the camper so she came up, checked out the camper, and she actually wants to buy the camper. And in return, she also said that um, we could harvest some of the timber off of her land, which was pretty nice. Um, so it's basically free and clear for us. Now, we're limited. We can only harvest 50 trees. So 50 trees is all we can harvest off of it. Um, but I actually was online this morning. Uh, I'm so excited I couldn't sleep. And so I ended up checking online and I found a contractor in the next town over that uh, has this plan here available. And he'll actually build it for 20000 if we provide the lumber so i uh called down to the to the mill and they said that if we bring them 50 trees that they will pay us for the timber and they will give us enough lumber to uh, build our uh, new house barn so uh, i also talked to the equipment store here first thing this morning and they have some forestry equipment in stock and I thought that we might ought to step our game up just a little bit now that doesn't mean I'm buying it but I am going to lease it I think uh, let's see here so they have they have this one here 
um, in stock. And they also have this one here, which look pretty much the same, just two different brands. So $25.50 to lease it. Yes. All right, so my thought, some of these trees back here, are on our property and some of them are not so I think first thing I'm going to do is just start dropping some trees So we got our first load loaded up. That took incredibly way too long. I did start to get the hang of it there at the end. Um, but, uh, wow, it was a pain. All right, we'll just leave that thing there. Let's run this trailer. I'm curious to see how it does going to the, going to the mill. see what damage we can do now just turn this thing over to the side here for a second and we've got this one on the tractor that we can load up
of So we've got another load finally finagled up here and it's uh, got it strapped on. Let's put this down here like this. And we went ahead and cut up, I cut up some, uh, some others that were uh, cleared out. So we've got a nice little pathway up through here. We've probably cut on her property. So my fence cut right across here. So we've probably only cut one, two, three, four, five, probably seven, <laughs> seven trees out of the 50 that she said we could have. Now I did cut three or four probably along my fence line. So that was part of this too, but, um, We've still got a lot that we could haul out of here if we wanted to. Let's see how much we get for this old run here. Thirteen nine seventy seven on that one. So out of those two loads, we've made twenty nine thousand three hundred and fifty seven bucks. That's not too shabby. Less our investment of this trailer. We probably twenty six thousand bucks. Oh, is that plant? Is this field freshly planted? Oh no, it was just harvested. Sugar beets. Let's say that's weird. Is this ready? Oh, this is ready to harvest by from Courtney. Man, that'd be. That's a pretty big field right there, right? Oh, no, it's not as big as it looks. It would take forever to harvest with our combine, though. All right, so I called the contractor uh, to see about getting started on building this thing. Um, he said I needed to call the county um, to get permission because I needed a permit told him that was bullcrap because this is a farm and I shouldn't need permission to build something on my own farm. But such is life. And they said that we could only have one residence at a time on the farm. And so what he's talking about is the fact that I had to pull a permit for this. Um, which is our camper. Now, the camper in and of itself was not an issue, but the fact that I had to register for a residency, like on this property that I was using as a resident, now it's on here, and I don't know how to unwind that. And so I can only have one sleeping location 
aka residence on the whole farm so i gotta figure out how to rewind that and undo that paperwork for that which i will guess we'll do at some point in time but anyway um yeah I guess we will just get back to logging for now until I figure out or hear back from the county on how to unwind our other residents over there. Maybe I'll have to go do some paperwork and petition that we're selling the camper. All right, so here we are back at the sawmill with another load. And um, I tell you what, I'm not a huge fan of this uh, log setup, log wagon. This, um, the grappling, grappler, grappling arm, boom arm. It's really tough to get the hang of. Really tough to use. But um, we did get another load. A good size load and I did go ahead and use the other trailer and picked up all of the cutoffs and little pieces so we have a trailer of those two um, so I guess let's get this unloaded um, so my official count now of trees off of Luke's property is 23 so we've gotten 23 out of the 50 trees off of there the other trees we've hauled more than that but the other trees were um were off of our property so um but i think for now that is all that i'm going to um take from luke's property just because frankly i'm just kind of getting tired of cutting trees i know we needed them um but we did get also uh approval back or i heard back from the contractor uh and from the county and we got our situation taken care of with the building permit so that's done now um so i went ahead and paid the deposit to the contractor for the um, and I don't I don't know what's going on why this thing won't pick up right now or maybe it is um, so I went ahead and paid the deposit for the um, new barn apartment and so that should be getting started here in no time actually he said he could get started on it pretty much right away so i'll be excited to see that but anyway i uh, don't know that i'm gonna watch make you guys sit here and watch me struggle with this horrible contraption and back at the mill again uh, this time with the uh, smaller trailer with all the little odds and ends pieces that I was talking about before uh, made a pretty good chunk on that last trailer load so be curious to see what we get on this one there is another thing that I wish would work right and that is that Um, that the dump bed would actually work. With wood. With this one, it'll only dump if it's grain or hay or something that it can read how much is in it so right now 
if you look down in the bottom right corner next to the speedometer it says zero percent so it's the game senses as if there is nothing in there um which sucks so we just have to unload it by hand uh, and i didn't leave that on long enough to did i yeah there we go no wrong way there we go now we're now we're down so we just have to unload all of this by hand Is that it? I think that's it. Uh, let's grab this one little piece here. Make sure it's over here. Make sure this one's in here. This, this, uh, I'm gonna guess probably like fifty five hundred dollars. Um, well, probably would have been close. Four thousand and six twenty four. Not quite. So more like forty six, forty seven hundred dollars. Yeah. All right. Well, um, I think I think at this point, probably just going to call this an ep episode uh, or a day, a week, whatever you want to call it. Um, now that we have all that wood cut and some more money back in the account, we've made our deposit on the new apartment barn. That's done. Um I really need to start thinking about fall and winter. I don't think our corn is going to be ready this month. Um, more than likely, it'll probably be next month before it's ready. We really don't have to do anything else to it. It's got both uh, applications of fertilizer, and it's yeah, it's I mean it's pretty much done. We just it's already been sprayed for uh, weeds, so we've already herb done the herbicide. So really, we just need to wait until it's ready to harvest. Um, combining, we're gonna have to figure something out too because I don't want to use that smaller corn head for that whole field. That'll take forever. So we're gonna have to figure something else out there. Um, and we just really need to see what we're going to do to sustain us through the winter months. So anyway, um, I am going to go to the pub and drink a couple beers and uh, probably call it a day today. And I will catch you guys tomorrow for another day. And hopefully after some brewskis. I'll be able to think a little less clear and maybe I'll come up with some kind of idea for the winter. So anyway, guys, appreciate you watching along. Appreciate you hanging out and we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Have a good night.